YouTube. In this episode, we're going to take the Shiparu and we're going to give it a radio upgrade because this thing from 2005 doesn't have Bluetooth, doesn't have USB connection, doesn't have an aux input even to use a headphone jack. It has nothing. And it has a lot of static is what it has. So we're going to just take this old Pioneer I have laying around, nothing special, and we're going to put it in. Here's the part number for the dash kit for the Outback. Here's the Metro wiring harness. Here is the antenna adapter you'll need. So this is the radio harness. This is the Metro car harness. All you're going to do here is match up the colors and uh, connect them. The blue on the radio is for amp remote, so I just capped that off since I don't have an amp right now. The blue on this, the car side is for a power antenna. This car does not have a power antenna, so bomb. Throw it away. When it's all said and done, it should look like this. You're going to have your amp one just uh, capped. Everything else should be connected. You're going to take your your radio cage that comes with the radio. You're going to slide it in to this hole here. Now, once you slide it in, you have these different triangles and stuff like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to push out the tabs that will uh, connect to the back of here and hold the cage from doing wobbling like this. Now we have the radio um, cage installed. It doesn't want to wiggle. doesn't want to come out. So that's good. Nice and tight. So now we have that prepped. We have these, the wiring harness prepped. And we have the antenna ready to go. So next thing is we got to go inside the car and start tearing apart the dash. Buy yourself some of these panel poppers. Usually they come in a kit. So here's a kit of a bunch of them. It is a Dorman 49051. If you want to buy the kit, you're going to go on both sides here and pop the center off like so. And that removes this one. It works the same way for the automatic as well. What I'm going to do is un you just unscrew the shifter. Then there's a clip here, unclip it. Now that thing is out of your way. So we need to get these wood trim panels off here on the side. So you remove these two screws. Make sure you put this stuff in a magnetic pan so you don't lose it. Now you can unpop it. Like so. Looks like we have one, two, three on each side. I'm going to remove all three of these. So there was one more screw. I don't think we had to take this one out. We will find out here shortly, but there's another one way deep in this hole. So make sure you get there. There's one on both sides, but it's deep in here. So either have a long Phillips or a magnetic tip Phillips, something, so you don't lose that screw in the dash. Take your little poppy poppers and work your way around this piece of junk. And um, we need to get behind here to deal with the climate control um, wire, rod, whatever you want to call it. So pop this thing out. Then you're going to have under here some wiring. And you're going to want to unclip the wiring here. You have one connector on top, one on bottom. You're going to push the button from the bottom one from the bottom, the top one from the top. Push this clip, unclip the uh, emergency flasher button. Remove all of the Phillips everywhere on both sides that you can find. To get the radio detached from the climate controls, there are these little tabs. Pull the tabs on each side, that'll disengage the 
radio from the climate controls. Then on the back side, you have a couple different plugs. You have this one, you have your main plug, you have this four or six or eight pin or whatever this is. The antenna is clipped into the side over here somewhere. Just yank on it, it'll pop out. And then it has a clip. You just push the clip and then this will come off. And now the radio is totally disconnected. Remove these two screws for the emergency flasher button and transfer this into the new housing. Take the antenna adapter, plug it into the factory antenna plug. Take your harness, plug it into the factory harness. Before you go through all the work of putting everything back together, you're going to want to test it. Make sure everything works correctly. So I have this in ACC. Radio should turn on. Let's go to, uh, yeah, static, since I don't have any channels inside of a metal shop. We'll see if anything pops up. Nope. So, I'm going to go to USB. Hey, Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. Looks like it works. <laughs> this is, uh, I don't know if you guys watch Carmen on YouTube, but this is their uh, rendition of the Lil Wayne song. Anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to go through left front, right front, uh, right rear, left rear, and make sure that you wired up all the stuff correct. Shut up! Are you done? Look at this. Come on, I'm fucking recording. I can. Alright, you see this blue wire? I'm under the fucking steering wheel so you guys can see this. Since nobody on YouTube wants to do this, what you have to do to do this the right way is pull it to the side so you need the wire to pop out of that clip as well as come off of that white piece up top. You see how there's a little piece that's sticking out? You push that with your fingernail and then slide that metal ring off and that'll allow us to get the climate controls all the way out. So as you can see, this is the part that went on plastic dick. The metal clip was like right about here. So you just have to pull it off there. And then I used a flathead screwdriver, shined a light through here, used a metal screwdriver and pried it out of that metal clip. And then it just slides out from in here and it goes up. Now take the climate control, it'll snap in. Everybody else on the internet just does this because that cable's too big of a pain in the ass, but I'm going to do it the right way. So you snap it in, and then you grab the two side pieces. The two side pieces slide in. There's a groove here. It slides over this, and then it has screw holes on the side. You're going to use the two silver screws that came with this kit to hold the top part of the side pieces. Then you're going to use the factory stubby black screws to hold the um, climate controls. You can get extra length by ripping this blue tape and unaccordioning it. Accordioning it. Oh, that's not a word. Anyways, it's folded up and taped. But look how much more length you get now. So I'm going to do this because when I do end up running an amp, if I do or not, whatever, I'm going to have to send the amp wires for the speakers into this harness. So I should be able to do all my crimping I need to do that way. Slide in the whole housing. And then I already have the metal ring slipped on. Only thing left I have to do lay on my back over here, stick my head under the dashboard and push the blue wire back into the metal clip 
using this flathead. I have a USB extension cable that needs to also go. That way I can plug a USB drive or whatever I want into this thing. Plug the climate controls back in. Plug the flashers back in. The USB wire runs from the back of the radio. I just have it coming down here and then coming out the side here um, so I can have easy access and I don't have to drill any holes on the car or anything. It just sort of slips through the panel between the panel and the carpet. So before I push it and screw it all together, I tested it again. Seems like it's working good. So at this point, I'm gonna push in the radio, lock it down, put in these six factory screws here. Make sure it's all wiggled in. Obviously when you do that, it's flush. Radio is now all screwed in, tested, everything works. That works again. That was not the funnest part. If you want to be uh, lazy about it, then don't even disconnect it. But the problem is, if you don't, this will be all... Like, if you push too hard, it would pop out, you know, if you don't put those brackets in. Plug the wiring harnesses back in. And this needs to be, like, perfectly square when you put it in. So that the ducts line up. You know, the, the little air ducts, they need to line up and connect to the air duct in the back of the dash. So you need to make sure this thing is perfectly straight and level and push it in and then tap it in. It should go in fine. But just one more dumb design. Snap in, starting from the top down and put the screw back in to this. Plug this harness back in. And slide over the shifter, screw down the shifter. Once you screw this in, you're going to slide the back of this in, and then just push down, and there's four clips that hold this in. And we're finally done. I hope you liked my step by step video putting in this radio. Like I said, there's going to be the easy way, but then the controls might not you know stick for you and then there's the hard way which is the right way which is what I did which kinda sucks but now at least hopefully you understand how to do it um, if you like my video hit like subscribe all that happy stuff and if you want to support me and help me make more videos on more cars I'm trying to get cash together make a project car blah 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 check out my patreon links down below till next time wrench on